Doug. So Doug and I worked a lot on the initial design process together and one thing that we learned was how important it is to carry a design notebook. So I had a little small design notebook that I carried pretty much everywhere I went and in class I would just draw pictures and anything that came up to mind and I'd go home and solve works them afterwards. Another thing that was really crucial in, in helping us get this done on time, especially when you're when you're talking about quick deadlines and prototypes, is decoupling systems so that you don't affect one when you're trying to edit another. For example, decouple your buoyancy from your hull structure so that in case you need to make it more solid, you don't make it more buoyant. That was a really big helpful thing for us. Hi, my name is Andrew Acker, and uh, the aspect of this project that I found most interesting was waterproofing. We had to waterproof the motors, and uh, it was actually quite difficult, and we ran into some obstacles here, but the formula that we used to make sure that water didn't get into the windings of the motor was first to put a cork down the shaft of the motor, then an initial layer of spray foam, wait until that dries, and then put a, another layer of epoxy down the shaft, and uh, that was the way that we waterproofed the motors, and I learned a lot from this process. This is our driver propulsion device. The way it works is it has multiple speeds. Um, it's controlled by the switch over here. So we can go to speed one, speed two, speed three, speed four, and speed five. We can also go back down to lower speed by pushing the switch down. And lastly, um, when you get somehow attached from the device, it turns off because you pull off the switch. Yeah. Now we're going to show you the insides of Hi, my name is Abdiel. Inside the pressure vessel, we have all of our electronic components so, such that they remain waterproof. Our main components are the batteries, the motor drivers, the Arduino, and the fuses. The motor drivers redirect current from, from the batteries to the motors so, so that they function properly. Our Arduino controls all of the functions and gives commands to everything else so that it functions. And finally, our fuses are just in place so that they protect our connectors so that too much current does not flow through them and eventually burn them.